What's up YouTube? So a very quick uh, little video if I'm actually good at keeping it short this time. I just wanted to go through um, partly for my clients, partly for the rest of you to see ankle mobilizations. Um, something nice and simple if you're having trouble in some of your lifts. Now this might be applicable if you're having trouble getting your feet back in the bench um, limited by dorsiflexion, so the movement of the foot towards the shin. Um, if you are squatting and your knee travel is limited, again by dorsiflexion, there may be other reasons for it. Um, and excessive knee travel is a different conversation altogether. Or if you're uh, struggling to get a little bit of quad engagement in the deadlift off of the floor, um, conventional. Uh, sumo, again, different question. Um, so yeah, I went through just three movements today. This was uh, on my bench session actually. But basically I'm just trying to relieve some of the tension in my ankle. Now, limits in dorsiflexion can come from a lot of different variables. For me, it tends to be uh, joint based because I don't use dorsiflexion very much. Um, I'm a very posterior chain dominant uh, squatter. My deadlift has always been uh, shit and I haven't really tried to fix it. Um, and bench, I've never really been able to get my feet further back. Now, because of this limit in time, my uh, joints become restricted. I'm being stared out of the window. So uh, the first thing I did was a talus mobilization. Now all of this is is a band around the front of the foot over where the talus, a small bone in the joint of the ankle, um, would sit and then having all of the band pressure on that, stepping away to create tension and then rocking the knee forward, keeping the heel on the floor to try and allow that bone to shift back. If you want to look into the anatomy of it, that's simple enough. But basically every time that your shin comes forward towards your foot, the bone moves backwards. Um, and this is just assisting that, creating some excessive tension to help do it. Uh, the other thing I did was a, a soft tissue mobilization. So resting um, my heel where my Achilles tendon is onto a kettlebell, onto the top of the handle, um, applying the uh, other foot on top for pressure as a downward force and moving that through different positions. Now to be specific, I put it on the uh, GTO, the point where um, tendon becomes muscle to try and get rid of some of the tension at that point. Uh, the Achilles tendon takes a huge amount of tension as it is used constantly for high impact work. So uh, yeah, that one works quite well for me. It's quite uncomfortable, so don't do anything rapidly. All of this should be very slow controlled movements. Um, and then the other thing I did was just a simple static stretch. Also, just a note for anyone who doesn't know, which you really should, static stretching, anything less than 30 seconds, shown in literature to be of nominal value. You really want to hold it for at least 30 seconds to allow um, a movement of tension into the muscle from where the tendons uh, take the strain. But again, all of it a conversation for a different time, just three basic movements that I use to increase my dorsiflexion. Three minutes flat, done. 